you think there'll come a time when you'll feel even worse than you do now because this was, as you just said, the Vatican and uh, you didn't make the playoffs here and one day you're going to wake up and think, damn, I wish I could do that again? Uh, I don't know how I could feel a whole lot worse than I feel today, but maybe. Mike? Uh, Brian, for a man of, of your experience and stature, I guess one of the obvious questions would be why do you want to stay on as senior advisor, especially when, when you just said moments ago that your biggest mistake was uh, maybe looking at the ownership group and having it switch on you. Why stay on with the club then? Well, I, I believe my firing was handled with dignity and class. I still believe in the Tannenbaums. I still believe in that the ownership group here is committed to winning, and they're entitled to have Dave Nonis here instead of me, if that's what they want. I, there's no issue with that. When you own a team, that's what you get. You get the right to put those people in place, and you get the right to change them if they're not the people you want. That's what ownership brings. I have no issue with that, no problem with that at all. This, I suggested it to Dale. Um, if I can help in any way, I'm going to. I'm not big on cashing paychecks and sitting around doing nothing, so if I can help, I'm going to. And uh, I do wish this team well. I do. It's a, it's a great city. It's a great franchise, and I think great days are ahead. But, uh, you know, that, that's my answer to you is I, I do believe that this thing's going the right way. And like someone asked earlier, I would have liked to see if I could take it farther. But I have no problem with the decision to, uh, you know, if this is, what, this is what you get when you own a team. You get the right to make decisions like that.